If you're bitten by a stray dog, try and make sure that the dog's saliva, spit, doesn't get into your wound. Clean the wound as quickly and as thoroughly as possible with a lot of water and soap. That should reduce the chance of rabies significantly. This is not medical advice, but go to the health center and consider to take rabies immune globulin and rabies vaccination. If you're bitten by a pet dog that is vaccinated, then you have the option of waiting 10 days, watching the dog in quarantine to make sure he's not showing any sign of rabies. But you also have to think as to why did this dog started biting suddenly. We also have another inhuman way to find out if the dog was rabid. If it was a stray dog, you can put it down, do autopsy of the brain and see if the dog was rabid. It's very hard to tell a owner of a pet that his dog would be euthanized for the brain biopsy. But it is the responsibility of the pet owner to vaccinate the dog, keep the vaccination certificate handy and wash the dog carefully for 10 days if the dog bites anybody. If the owner of the dog, the pet dog, the owner says the dog is not vaccinated, now you are in a quandary. You can wash the dog for 10 days because you have that availability. But rabies incubation period could be up to a year, but it's typically 45 days. Sooner you take the vaccine, it is better. At that time, the judgment and thinking comes in. Any wound that is closer to the head or neck, the wound that is not through the clothes, but directly into the skin, anywhere where the skin is broken and the tooth has gone in and the saliva is mixed with the wound and if you're feeling little numbness around the wound, those type of wounds should be considered serious and you should still consider rabies immune globulin and vaccination even if you are able to watch the dog for 10 days. Again, not a medical advice. Bad International Rabies Day, Dr. Ravi Godse.